So how do you go about picking a grout line for your tile? There is a rule. The minimum grout line is a sixteenth of an inch. It's in the TCNA handbook. There's basically a few different types of tile. There's natural tile, which uh, the, the, the sizes of the tiles can vary greatly. There's calibrated tile, and then there's rectified tile. So most of the tiles that you're gonna deal with are gonna be calibrated or rectified. Calibrated tiles, it's a dry pressed powder, which has very little uh, water content in it, and they press them and they form them into tiles. And then they fire these tiles and the tiles shrink. So as they shrink, they're not gonna shrink all exactly the same size. So when they come out, the machines out of the uh, conveyor belts, they're sorted by size. So they're sorted by caliber. It means that the tiles have to be within a certain size range to fit a certain caliber. The tiles are sorted and they're, and they're boxed. So when you buy, you wanna make sure that you look at all the numbers on the boxes and make sure they're all exactly the same. So this is for, for that tile here. And you'll even see on here, it has caliber five. So you wanna make sure that all the boxes all the numbers match. You wanna make sure the dial up matches, you wanna make sure the caliber matches, and then a lot of times they'll have a gauge on there. The gauge is actually the thickness of the tile because there can be a variation in the thickness of the tile. So for these calibrated tile, usually you can't do a 16th of an inch grout line. It's gonna have to be bigger. If the uh, difference in size between the, the tiles is uh, when, you, when you measure them is like a 16th of an inch. If you try and do a 16th of an inch grout line, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have some tiles that touch, other tiles that have a, a much wider grout line. So you need to make that wide, grout line wider so that the, uh, the center line averages out. If you've got a tile that uh, varies by a 16th of an inch, the size of the grout line is so, supposed to be three times the difference uh, of the average size of the tile. So if, they vary by a sixteenth of an inch. That means your grout line is supposed to be three sixteenths of an inch. A lot of people don't like the wider grout lines. I know that, but so you're going to have to make a choice on uh, how, if you want your grout lines to be straight or if you want your grout lines to be uneven and have a narrow grout line. What are rectified tiles? So rectified tiles are tiles that have been fired and then they run through a machine to square off the edges and to make them uh, square and usually a rectified tile will be very even in size. The difference in size between the tiles will vary very little and usually a rectified tile can have a narrower grout line. You don't want to do a grout line any smaller than a sixteenth of an inch. That is the minimum recommended grout line size according to the TCNA. Does that always mean that rectified tiles are going to be perfectly the same size? Well, most of the time, yeah, but a lot of sometimes uh, you can get a lower quality manufacturer or whatever, and then you can still have uh, a variation in the size of the rectified tiles. It all goes to the quality of the tile. Well, a good quality tile is going to have better quality control. Uh, the calibers are going to be closer together. You're going to have a, a tighter tolerance. Uh, they're going to be flatter. They're going to be. It's just going to be a nicer tile. If you go want to buy a cheap tile then you're going to have to sacrifice quality somewhere and usually that is in the in the caliber tile won't be as as good as a quality tile remember the grout line size is determined by the tile and not by the desire that you have for a narrow grout line uh, best thing to do when you're trying to pick a grout a grout size is to lay down a few tiles dry and see how they run and, and check to see if it'll work with the grout line that you want.